Now we will talk about master production schedule. So we all know that the demand plan that is coming out from S&OP demand planning process is in a monthly bucket. But to explore that plan, it is important to have some systems. Also, demand planning is usually done at product family level, but it is also important to explore that plan in individual item level. So for that, the systematic way is a master production schedule. Now what is master production schedule? So MPS is telling us what we need to produce, how much we need to produce and when we need to produce. In short, everything related to production in a business is what MPS is talking about. Now while doing MPS or while doing master production schedule, it considers production, staffing requirement, required inventory and all other factors and it is usually linking all these plans with the manufacturing plan. Typically MPS is done for next 3 months to 12 months. So it depends on company to company. Company can also extend their MPS period. Now let's take a simple example of MPS. So here you can see week 1, week 2, week 3 up to week 7 and we also have starting inventory which is 40 quantity. Now we are planning a master production schedule for a product called as laptop. Now as far as sales forecast is concerned, in each week the requirement is 200 quantity. Now we have to produce the quantity based on the sales forecast. So in the first week, if we consider our on hand inventory which is 40 and our sales forecast 200 then we have to produce only 160 quantity. Subsequently in week 2 we have to produce 200 quantity because we don't have anything on hand and our sales forecast is completely 200. Similarly in the week 3 and up to week 7. So simply master production schedule considers available inventory, sales forecast and also time period and accordingly it determines what quantity we have to produce in that time period. Now while doing master production scheduling, it takes input from multiple factors because it is completely systematic calculation of what we have to produce, when we have to produce and how much we have to produce. So there are multiple inputs that MPS takes like capacity constraints which can be non-availability of labors, which can be machine down. It also considers production policies like minimum order quantity or batch size. It also 